on brother uh, Mark. Amen. But I'm gonna tell you, we've been many times right here. Right? That's all right. It's always been on the word. Right. Amen. Amen. Y'all give it to us. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Come on, clap your hands unto God. Shout unto God for the voice of triumph, Psalms 47 and 1. Lord, we clap, we applaud you, we give you the glory. You said if any man glory, let him glory in the Lord, 1 Corinthians 1 31. Come on, let's glory in him tonight. It's for his fame. For his name that we come. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Psalms 118 and 26. Jesus, we come in you, by you, through you, for you, for your honor, for your glory. We'll sing you high. We exalt you. We exalt you. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and so shall it be safe for my enemies. Psalms 18 and 3. Somebody shout, He's the worthy one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To you be praised, Jesus. And Lord, we go ahead and declare thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever and ever, all me in Matthew 6, 13. Uh, Lord, we give this service back to you. It's yours. It's your kingdom. It's your power. It's your anointing. It's your ability. It's your strength. Uh, hallelujah. It's your fame. Hallelujah. All belongs to you. Come on. Raise your hands to him who lifted up his hands uh, on a Roman rugged pool cross and laid his life down so you could be forgiven of sin. I could be forgiven of sin so we might enter into the holies of holies. Uh, we're full of brethren having boldness uh, get into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, Hebrews 10, 19. Lord, we've come in a structure. We've come in a room. Lord, tonight this mattress store is turned into a sanctuary, a church. Not because we're here, but because you are. For when two or three are gathered together in my name, they will be in the midst of them. Matthew 18 and 20. And Lord, you sanctify it with your presence. And God, as we come into this place tonight, hallelujah, we come to exalt and magnify you and the glory in you and you alone. We vow to give you all the praise and all the glory for all that will ever be done here tonight. Hallelujah. And we thank you, King Jesus. We give you the glory. We give you the glory. Genesis 28, 16, Jacob awakened out of sleep and he said, surely the Lord's in this place. And I can do it. Not. Look at somebody beside you. You've got to turn your neck to do it and tell them, say, if you hadn't recognized him, he's been here the whole time. Somebody shout, he's here. Hallelujah. Who will somebody say, King Jesus. So that means salvation's here. That means healing's here. That means deliverance is here. Because glory to God, wherever he is, what he does follows. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He's the miracle worker tonight. Praise God. You praise him. Look at your neighbor and say, whatever you do, don't go crazy, but get crazy. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't let life make you crazy. Just let it make you crazy. Come on, somebody. He's worthy. He's the worthy one. Call on him. He's worthy of your praise and he'll deliver you from the enemies tonight. Again, that Psalms 18 and verses 3. God, we thank you and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Brother Chris, for inviting us and uh, allowing us to come here tonight. I told you, my friend, anytime the Lord lay us on your heart, we can do what we can do to be here. And uh, we've been in a revival of today's 13th day of January. This will be the 13th time I've preached <laughs> since uh, January the 1st. We've been in a revival for two weeks in Nahana, and uh, I told you we'd have the close out last night uh, just for a moment and uh, so I could come here because I knew Holy Spirit wanted me to be here. Uh, Sunday we'll be in uh, Hazelhurst again in revival there too. Hallelujah. But it is an honor to be in God's presence anywhere. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, if you can't find rest in here, you got problems. Come on, somebody. I'm telling these mattresses all on the side of the walls. Praise God. Hallelujah. But there's a real rest here tonight that you can't get from a mattress. Come on, but you can get from the master. Because the Bible said in the word of the Lord and, 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 and uh, Psalms, or no, I didn't think the Holy Ghost, Exodus 33, 14, he said, my presence will go with you and you'll have rest. Somebody shout his presence. The presence of God, Brother Robert, just got through singing about his presence. Somebody shout only a person can have a presence. We, we're, we're not serving an it or just some force or some feeling. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Verse 18 and 24. Somebody shout, he's for real. His presence is here. He said, if I can just find two or three to gather together in my name. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Here's the promise. He said, it's my presence. I'll be in the midst of it. Glory to God, Matthew 18 and 20. He won't be to the side of us. He won't be around us. But if you'll let him be the middle, the theme of the reason you came. Come on. If you came for Jesus tonight, you won't leave here sorry you came. Come on. I don't walk across that street out there to come.
come hear me or see me. Hallelujah. I come in his name. I come to see him. Come on, somebody. Psalm 66 and 5 says, Come and see the works of the Lord. He's awesome in his doings for the children of men. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Come and see. Look at your neighbor and say, I hope you didn't just come to hear. I hope you come to see. Him. I don't mean that. Hallelujah. But to see the Lord. Hallelujah. The promise of your presence. The Lord, you said again in Hebrews 10 19, wherefore, beloved brethren, have a boldness to enter to the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Lord, your blood gives us the free admission and free access. Hallelujah. To your presence that still saves, still heals, still evicts and casts devils out and changes lives, alters them. Holy Ghost, I thank you. Your presence is still a delivering presence. But you said whoever calls on the name of the Lord to be delivered, Joel 2, verse 32. Thank you, Lord, tonight for the blood of Jesus that gives us that free admission. Hallelujah. Thank you for the presence of God. We don't want to ever take your presence for granted. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Come on, clap one more time tonight and praise Jesus. Yeah, he's the word they want. Hallelujah. Psalm 18, 24 said, This is the day which the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Now, if you back up two scriptures prior to that, this is a messianic passage. David's looking through the telescope of time and he prophesies, beginning in verse 22, the stone which the builders has rejected has become the headstone of the corner, or the cornerstone. Then in verse 23, he said, this is the Lord's doing. Somebody shot, this is the Lord's doing. Kind of say it with an attitude like that. Almost like skeptic, like question. This is the Lord's doings. What is? The day the Messiah was rejected. The day the religious leaders and rulers turned their back to him. Come on, somebody, and shout it out, crucify him. Whoa, hallelujah. Hey, Amen. And it was the Lord's doings. Now, God didn't do it, but God allowed it to be done. Hallelujah. For our salvation, for our redemption. Praise God. Amen. And that's when David said in verse 24, that most famous quote, he weren't talking about just today. He was talking about the day. The day Jesus, come on somebody, was ridiculed. The day Jesus was arrested. The day Jesus was beaten bloody by a can of nine tails and rejected. Come on and crucified on the cross. That's why it said in verse 24, this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. That's why every day that is a day, you can rejoice in it if you remember the day. The day causes me to rejoice in every day. So the day may have dealt you some hardships, but if you reflect back to the day, you can rejoice in this day because of the day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I didn't say the day. I said the day. Praise God. The day that Jesus was crucified. That's what David was talking about in those scriptures. In Psalms chapter 118, again, verse 22 through 24, this is the day. Come on, somebody. The Lord hath made. What day? The day he hang on that Roman rugged cruel cross, shed his blood. Praise God. Somebody give him praise for that day. If you can praise him for that day, it'll bring a praise out of you in any day. Hallelujah. Praise God. And when it said, I will reference Psalm 118, 24 to today. Amen. Because this is the day the Lord hath made. I rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody shout, this is the day. Friday the 13th. The day that Jesus made, not Jason. Amen. Come on. Look at somebody beside you say, this is the day Jesus made, not Jason. Hey, some folks didn't go out the house this morning. <laughs> Praise God, something bad going to happen. Come on, somebody. Good God Almighty, get free. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's the day Jesus made, not Jason. Amen. Hallelujah. 